Hi everyone, in this video, I'll explain how to deal with a dataset that has variables having information at different dimensions. Dimensions like wellness of a person can represent different data points like financial well-being, physical well-being or mental well-being of a person. But while statistically analyzing, I may not know if these dimensions will have any relevance in the computation of a variable. Let me explain this phenomena by considering a project that I worked on for the Indian Association of Clinical Psychologists. The purpose of the organization was to have advancement in the clinical psychology profession by enhancing the understanding of mental health dimensions. Thus, the investigation focused on understanding the root cause of the growing prevalence of anxiety behavior among teenagers. From an external literature review, I found that different categories of human behavior contribute to the existence of anxiety and among them the dimensions that were relevant to my study are affective, psychological, cognitive and behavior. Though these human behavioral dimensions help in observing anxiety levels, but when I focus on these dimensions, I understand that it is difficult to have comparable numerical measurements of these values. Thus, as the values could not be observed in numbers, they are known as latent variables. However, there are ways to measure such behavioral dimensions. Now, in another aspect of the same study where the objective was to compute the intelligence level of the teenager respondents, I could not determine the teenager's intelligence level by simply observing their behavior. But it was possible asking relevant questions like, are you aware of existing issues between Russia and Ukraine? Do you know the Prime Minister of India? Or what is the current GDP level? Similarly, affective, psychological, cognitive and behavioral dimensions can't be measured but using such statements or questions, I can collect their responses and compute the behavior of a teenager respondent. Their responses to these statements will help me to assign numeric values to the different dimensions of their behavior. Thus, such statements are known as observed variables. The contribution of the observed variable in computing the latent variable is called factor loading or a load of a variable to compute the main variable in focus. For instance, in my study, I have considered that cognitive behavior of an individual means the presence of fearlessness, concentration and obsession. Affective behavior defines the sadness, anger and quality of life. Behavioral dimension focus on avoidance, compulsion, and isolation. Psychological behavior is identified by the heart rate, dry mouth, and sweating. Now, the knowledge that I have about each type of behavior and dimensions, measuring them is completely based on general human behavior observations. I don't know whether it's applicable for teenagers or not. I am also not aware whether the behavioral dimensions that I have considered to measure anxiety has any effect on the computation at all. The only fact that I am aware of is I have four behavioral dimensions that could possibly measure anxiety level. Each of these four behavioral dimensions can't be measured numerically. I believe as each of these four behavioral dimensions could be a component of anxiety level, thus they have some form of relationship with each other. Each of these four behavioral dimensions could be measured by using three different dimensions. To define the relationship between variables, I have stated that anxiety behavior is equal to affective plus psychological plus cognitive plus behavioral aspect, where affective behavior is equal to sadness 
plus anger plus quality of life cognitive behavior equal to fearlessness plus concentration plus obsession behavioral dimension equal to avoidance plus compulsion plus isolation psychological behavior equal to heart rate plus dry mouth plus sweating such a statement of a relationship between variables that contributes to the computation is called a model in my study my purpose is to confirm whether the relationship that i think exists between variables is true or not thus the model used for fulfilling the purpose is called confirmatory factor analysis now let me show you how to build this model using the spss mos graphics interface for this i have imported the responses of 500 respondents to the spss once the mos graphics windows opens i'll draw the model and use the identified dimensions and constructs to build the confirmatory factor analysis model as i can only measure the dimensions and not the construct measured by them thus the data is only for the existing 12 observed variables now the variables for which i have collected the data using five point likert scale are in five categories that is strongly disagree disagree neutral agree and strongly agree these are observed variables while the ones for which data is not available or need to be determined based on the observed variables are latent variables to start i am going to draw a tree diagram with a combination of the latent and observed variables move the cursor to the page center and then drag it to draw the latent variable represented with an oval shape now once the latent variable is stated and i know that each latent variable has three dimensions thus i click on the drawn variable shape thrice to add three dimensions represented by the rectangle this will help in creating the linkage in the tree diagram similarly i have drawn a tree diagram for the other three latent variables also wherein each of them has three dimensions now let's structure the model as the placement is not visually good thus for better presentation model reshaping is required all the latent variables tree diagram has upward presentation but in confirmatory factor analysis i need to include that all the latent variables have some form of relationship with each other the 270 degree rotation helps to present the observed variables on the left hand side each click on the latent variable with the rotate icon will rotate the model by 90 degrees thus for 270 degree i click on the variable thrice once the rotation is done i present the model in a single line format to state all the latent variables in one line using the move icon i'll drag the tree diagram of each latent variable and drop it on the left side for the second tree diagram i'll drop the figure below the first latent variable similarly the procedure is followed for the other two variables and a line format of the model is stated the model is now presentable but does not have a mention of the variables represented by each tree diagram by clicking on the variables listing icon i can see the figure representing all the variables that are presented in the data now select the variable from the variables list and drag it to the figure representing it 
more than the size of the built observed variable. Use the reshape icon to adjust the size of the variables. For latent variables, type the name by double clicking on the variable shape and then write the name. Here, a string of characters can be added without any space. To mention a long name or to use space, then instead of writing in the variable name input box, write the name in variable label section of the dialog box. Lastly, for all the circle shaped variables, the name could be directly inserted by using the name unobserved variables option under tools. With this, the model is defined based on the relationship I assume between variables. I have assumed that all the latent variables are related to each other, thus using a two-sided arrow, the linkage can be stated. A two-sided arrow has been drawn between cognitive and effective, cognitive and behavioral, cognitive and psychological. Secondly, between affective and behavioral, affective and psychological. Lastly, between behavioral and psychological. For effective and cognitive, behavioral and cognitive, behavioral and effective, psychological and cognitive, psychological and effective, psychological and behavior has already been developed. Thus, the linkage need not to be stated again. You can also use the polish icon to change the format of the diagram. It will help in better visual representation of the model. As the model is built, the final step is to perform an analysis. Remember that in the SPSS MOS, until the MOS graphics window is saved, the analysis can't be performed. file and then select all the options you want in the final output file. Here check the standardized estimates and the modification indices. Once the options are selected, the analysis can be performed. A new output window will produce a list of different relevant measures. Click on the red upward arrow icon in the MOS graphic window for a brief summary of the output, that is factor loadings. Factor loadings for all the statements is positive, thus this shows that each statement has some contribution in the measurement of anxiety dimensions, that is affective, psychological, cognitive and behavioral. Hence these dimensions could be considered for defining anxiety levels.